time to get in here on this uh, rear hitch. And I've got my transmission jack under here and I've got it set. And about right there is pretty good. You're not going to see the receiver. Uh, you'll be able to get to it pretty good. Um, so I think that's where I'm going to put it. I'm going to study a little bit. I'm fixing to quit for the day. Study this for a minute, sleep on it, and uh, then knock it out. And then... All right, Bruce. I've got your truck set here about 10 inches off the ground uh, where it would normally set at ride height with the tires on it. So I just took that 10 inches and subtracted the, from this and that tells me exactly where this is going to sit in relationship to the ground. Uh, and I did that just to make sure this wasn't going to be low because it is a little bit lower than the hitch and I've lowered the whole thing down. I just didn't want it to cause any issues. Well that's going to put it at about 15 inches from here to the ground when it's sitting out there. And that's that's a good spot. That's, that's about where uh, all your full size trucks are within an inch or two. I've got one out there right now and it's at uh, it's just over 15 so uh, that's gonna work out good so that's where I'm gonna put it I'm gonna go back here at the end of it and put a little radius in it and uh, and plate uh, the back side of it and bring it into it that way it have a little skid plate if it ever did hit something and then this the front side I'll bring down some uh, 3 8 flat stock and then I'll triangulate it and I'm gonna set it back to where you got enough room to get your hitch hooked up here but enough where you won't see this thing uh, and low enough where it won't rattle and flex so I think that's a pretty good spot right there so I want to give you a quick look at what I got here I got that Kurt uh, receiver weld in receiver hitch I found you a pin that's just got this easy little flip over spring loaded lock on it that's uh, stainless steel I found a pre chromed hitch that's the right size and a two inch ball so uh, when I put all this under there it's, it, the back of this is exactly perfect in line with the back of the one that's on the Explorer, which is the, uh, the inch and a quarter one. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a plate that will just go right to the back of that and I can weld right on to the original uh, piece that this receiver would go into, uh, the hitch would go into. And that way I don't put any heat or stress in that unit, that bar cross. There's a few times I may weld into that bar, that cross. Uh, bolster but I'm gonna try to keep it all located around the weld and the original uh, receiver hitch that's in there because that's gonna allow it to absorb a lot of fl uh, flex and stress uh, anywhere I weld on that bolster is going to uh, harden it and make it uh, where it's not going to flex as much and it could start cracking so uh, I, I know it's probably going to get used that much to do that but that's just the way uh, I'm gonna do it um, so in doing so, I could just put the plate, a flat plate in there like this, and then I'll just weld right at the end, and this would be located to be right in there. But that's going to look uh, look homemade, and I can make it a little bit stronger and by not doing a whole lot more work. And I'm going to put this in my press brake and put, uh, put a radius in it. And then I'm going to cut that radius into this hitch. And then, I will, then I'll put this in here, and it'll be a radius to end. And that way, if you run over something, it's just going to scoot off of it. And I really enjoy doing this cut and shove to fit type work like this. Um, so I've, I've got that cut and I've got this piece made and I kind of went ahead and dressed it up because this is what you're going to see from the back side and I've got this uh, set up to where when I weld that I'll be able to weld that solid. Well here she is so far. So I got all that ground down and look up under there that's going to look pretty nice. And I'm going to do a, a front bar and then two on the side of it and uh, yeah that's going to be sweet. All right, Bruce, here's your custom hitch all welded up. Looks real good. Going to have that nice little ramp on there, so that serves two purposes. Uh, one, by the way, it strengthens the way I've installed this because I have no, really no weld right here, so it's going to let this flex a little bit. And uh, and I got your safety chain on there, and it, and it looks good, too. So uh, now I've just got to get it up in there and weld it and start building my frame around it. Here she is all installed. I've got her gusted up pretty good with uh, the 3 8 by 2 inch plate and uh, I've got it all supported coming right out of the original receiver so it should be able to stress and flex and uh, you'll probably never have any issue with or pulling anything as big as you want to pull with that. So now I've just got to get under here. Uh, those are the brackets I made. I've got to uh, make two more for each end. And then uh, I'm going to do one button up on all this uh, stuff here, make sure it all bolts in good, and then, uh, and then uh, we'll be moving to the front.